if you look at this there's pro g which is giving a 10.0 milliseconds there's pro ds which is giving 15.0 milliseconds in terms of delay so just write a negative value for the latency that we saw which is in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can identify the plugins causing the delay to your vocals and now you can actually fix this problem without getting rid of the plugins so without wasting much of your time let's get into the video hi my name is jay i make music production tutorials for beginners on youtube in cubase and fl studio so if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video so this video is more of an update to the previous video that i made before where i was able to show how to identify the plugins that are causing the delay but what i didn't show is how you can actually solve uh, this delay without removing the plugins so i did a little bit of research so let me show you what i found about this and why some plugins cause the delay so according to Steinberg in the Cubase Pro 10.5 operational menu under plugin delay compensation this is what it says so I'm going to demonstrate everything so you don't need to worry about anything so I'll just read through for clarity sake so it says some audio effects especially dynamic processes that feature a look ahead functionality may take a brief time to process the audio fade into them as a result the output audio is slightly delayed so this explains why the audio delays because of the plugin it clearly states here that some plugins take a longer time to process the audio that is fed into them and then it continues to say to compensate for this cubase provides plugin delay compensation after researching more i came across this which is channel latency so according to Steinberg, under channel latency, it states that the channel latencies display the latencies caused by inset effects or channel strip modules for audio related channels in the mix console. To show the channel latency display in the fader section of the mix console, click setup window layout on the toolbar and activate channel latencies, which I'm going to show you in a short while. Then it says to open an overview of the latencies for a specific channel click open channel latency overview which is here and uh, this so the channel latency overview shows the following information which is this it will show you the plugin and how much delay the plugin is causing and from here i'm going to show you where to put this value so that you solve this delay problem so let's now get into the project so i've got a project here so I'm going to play this so that we all listen to this and then I'm going to add a plugin that I know will cause the delay and I'll show you how we're going to solve this. I came out from the trap, really can't you relate? I'm singing all this trap, I'm sharing my pain And I'm telling how I came up and I'm getting it How I came up from the project, I'm a prodigy You say this little dog type it, but you pull out wave in them Sit a lot of shit so I stay by myself So this is the song that we have. So now let me add a plugin from waves which is Z noise so I've added this plugin here because I know that it will definitely cause the delay so if I play this I came out from the trap really can you relate I'm singing all this trap I'm sharing my pain and I'm telling how I came up and I'm I can tell that we have this delay here so according to the information that we just read it says we need to open mix console so to open mix console you can just go to studio the tabs on the top studio or devices for cubase 5 then under that you can just come down and select mix console or rather just click f3 on your keyboard and then it says we go to the tuba which is this one here and click on setup window layout which is this one if i click on this then enable channel latencies which is this one here make sure you enable that and it will show you the latency for each channel so in my case if i look at my lead vox group channel which is the, the channel that has got all the effects that um, i have here i can see the latency here this is the amount of delay being caused by these plugins for me to check specifically the plugins that are causing these delays i can just click here on open channel latency overview if you remember from the information and it 
gives me this so if you look at this there's pro g which is giving a 10.0 milliseconds there's pro ds which is giving 15.0 milliseconds and there's z noise which is causing 786.9 milliseconds in terms of delay so before i added z noise i played i couldn't feel that much of the delay because delays are too small to the point that i couldn't really feel them but look at the difference with this one that's the reason why it can be noticed now so you can just get the total channel latency which is this one here which is in my case 811.9 press f3 to move away from here so what you can do to solve this delay is come to these channels just click on uh, each of these channels and just write a negative value for the latency that we saw this point here if you just put your mouse pointer here you'll see that this is track delay in milliseconds the value that is caused by the plugins is a positive value so in this case we're adding a negative so that we take it back to the initial position which is negative eight 11.9 press or enter so double click just copy this and paste it on all these channels so in my case it's for for this lead vocal so now if i play this i came out from the trap really can you relate i'm singing all this trap i'm sharing my pain and i'm telling how i came up and i'm getting this how i came up from the project i'm a prodigy Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and feel free to comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video. In and out.